morning everyone. My name is Teacher Michelle A. Laios. You can call me Teacher Mitch. Our subject for today is Science Grade 6 and our topic is all about animals, the two big groups of animals, and economic importance of vertebrates and invertebrates in the community. Look around you. What are the living things that you can see? Observe the animals that moves around you. Animals are classified into two big groups. These are the vertebrate and invertebrate. Vertebrate animals are animals with backbone, while the invertebrate animals are animals without backbone. Let us study the classification of vertebrate animals. There are five classes of vertebrate animals according to animal similarities and differences in characteristics. First, we have the largest group of vertebrate, the fish. They live in water. They breathe throughout their gills. Some of them have scales covering their bodies. Fins help them to move under the water. They are born from egg. Next, we have the amphibians. Amphibians that spend a part of their life in water and a part on land with soft, moist skin and some are also have soft dry skin. Here are also some examples of amphibians. Third, we have the reptiles. They also live on the ground or in the water. Unlike the amphibians who have soft moist skin, reptiles have dry scaly skin. Here are some also examples of reptiles. Fourth, we have the birds. Animals covered with feather and have pair of wings. And last, the mammals. Animals with hairy bodies give birds to love young and feed their youngs with milk. Fishes, amphibians, and reptiles are example of cold-blooded animals. These are animals whose body temperature changes as the temperature in their environment changes while the birds and mammals are warm-blooded animals, animals whose body temperatures stays the same even the outside temperatures temp changes. Man is an example of a mammal. Did you know that there are also mammals lay eggs? Example of these are the duck-billed platypus and echidna. This kind of animals or this kind of mammals are also called Monotrim. The second big groups are the invertebrates animals, animals that do not have backbones. Invertebrates animals are divided into eight pila. These are Pylum porifera, Colenterata, Platyhelminthes, Nematoda, Anileda, Mollusca, Echinodermata, and the Pylum arthropoda. These invertebrate animals are grouped by their body structure, location, and feeding methods. Let's study first the pylum porifera or the sponges. They are simple invertebrates that appear like pieces with an opening on top. Here are some examples of pictures of pylum porifera. Second, we have the pylum colenterata, hollowed bodies animal like jellyfish. Corals and sea animals belong to this group. Colenterates have one body opening. They have finger-like structure called tentacles around their mouth opening. Third, we have the platyhelminthes or the flat worm that have long flattened bodies which have one body opening. Example of these are the planaria, tapeworm, and fluke. Next, we have the pylum nematoda, a trade like common called roundworms, with two bodies opening. Example of these are ascaris, hookworm, and trichena or the pork worms. Next, we have the pylum anileda or the segmented worms, are so named because of their elongated cylindrical bodies divided by groups correspond internal portions called septa which divide the internal body space into a series of compartments. 
example of this are the earthworms and leeches. We have also the pylomollusca, soft-bodied animals enclosed and protected inside a hard shell. Snails, clams, mussels also known as the home, oyster, and octopus are example of pylum mollusca. Next, we have also the pylum echinodermata, or the spiny skin animals. These are sea animals that have spines and have many tube feet. Example of these are the sea cucumber, or sand, taller, and starfish. And last, we have the pylum arthropoda. These are animals with joined legs. Pylum arthropoda are classified into insects, crustaceans, arachnids, and myriapods. There are groups based on the number of their legs. Insects have three pairs of legs. Most insects also have one or two pairs of wings, such as butterfly, bee, dragonfly, and a grasshopper. Animals with five pairs of legs and two body systems are called crustaceans. They also have filler and movable mouth. Most crustaceans live in water and they breathe through their gills. Example of these are the shrimp, lobster, crabs, and prawns. Did you know that spiders are not insects? Because they have four pairs of jointed legs. They are called arachnids. There are also many legs arthropods like millipedes and centipedes. These are the myriapods. Now, let's proceed to the economic importance of vertebrates and invertebrates in the community. Animals are very distinct groups of organisms. They are the most abundant living things. Many kinds of animals live around you. They get food, build homes, and feed their young. Animals are very useful to man. They are considered as the major source of food. Animals are good helper and pets. Let us find out the other animals with economic importance. Animals are source of food. What have you eaten this morning? Where do you think this food comes from? The food that we eat every day mostly came from animals. The eggs and fried chicken that you eat came from chicken. Even the milk that you drink came from cow. Living things need one another. The flesh of domestic domesticated animals like cattle, chicken, ducks, birds, and goats are rich source of protein. Water dwellers such as fishes also provides proteins. Cows and goats provide milk products such as butter and cheese in addition to meat. Animals are a source of cloth. The skin of cow, sheep, deer, and goat are used in making leather products. Bubine or cow head is the most abundant and common source of leather. Cow leather is used for every leather products, which includes jacket, straps, shoes, boots, gloves, belt, saddles, bags, and upholstery. Animals a source of medicine. In China, rhino horn is used to relieve fever and lower blood pressure. The water buffalo is also considered as alternative to rhino horn for treating conditions ranging from fever to convulsions. In the field of science and medicines, animals like rats, guinea pigs, cats, cows, dogs, and mice have been used as experiment in the inventions of drugs, antibiotics, and vaccines which help prevent and cure disease. Animals are source of ornament. Asian elephants are hunted by men for their ivory tusks. Pearls, which are used as accessory, are taken from oyster. Corals are also taken out of the water and they use it for decoration at home. Animals and its other uses. Some animals help us in our work. Horses and elephants are means of transportation. Carabos and sheep are hard-working farm animals. 
dogs guard our house from danger. Some birds eat many fish of crops, fruits, and grains, thus preventing the plants to be harmed. Insects and birds help in pollination. Earthworms help our plants grow. Do you know how? As they move through the soil, they loosen it. This enables the roots to get air and water. Their waste also help fertilize the soil. The Word of God says in Genesis 2 verse 15, The Lord God placed the man in the Garden of Eden to tend and watch over it. A man is a good steward of animals. He is then given responsibility to care for the plants and trees. He must take good care of them and protect them from being harmed. Now, let's see what you have learned. Tell the following animals if it is vertebrate or invertebrate animals.